Hey everyone, let's do some meal prep. So I have all of my, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna cook all my veggies, all my meats, and then I'm gonna put them into containers separately. I'm not gonna portion out all my meals. I'm gonna put them into containers separately so that I can choose what I want to have on any given day. So that being said, um, I typically will buy pre-packaged, pre-chopped. Uh, reason being that, yes, it is a little more expensive, but if it saves me time and I'm busy, if it saves you time and you're busy, it's worth it. I don't look at saving 10 cents here and 10 cents there. I look at saving um, time. And if it fits into my overall budget that I have, so I look at having have an overall budget, but I'm not penny pinching here and there over, oh, that's cheaper. And that's, you know, I have an overall budget and that is what I adhere to. So that being said, I'm going to chop the few veggies that I actually have um, not, not yet chopped. I did buy some non-chopped. Also want to show you that. I'm going to be cooking in nonstick spray. I'm not going to be cooking in oil. So every pan gets nonstick spray. Every pan gets nonstick spray. I have four pans here. If you can see, nonstick spray and all my goodies are here. All right, cool. So, what is my first victim? Let's start with zucchini. Okay, so. In the interest of time, I'm gonna pop this into a it's a, kind of like a pan pot, like a deep dish pot. Pan thingy. I'm gonna put these in there. This is zucchini noodles. Like I said, overall budget is what I'm looking at. Yes, I realize I could chop them myself, but it's saving me time. And time is money. Time is money. So it would help if I turned on. The burner. Okay. And now I'm going to recycle these out of the way. I also bought two of these. And what I do is I cut them in half. You could take the seeds out if you want. I actually eat the seeds, um, but cut them in half. And then I just put them in the oven for the highest temperature that it has, which is 450. And then I do an hour on regular bake. And then an hour on broil. And that's how I like it. I like it crispy, crispy, crunchy. So, okay. I'm gonna chop some more zucchini. So I have zucchini noodles, and then I'm gonna have these regular zucchini pieces. And I need to have this all done by the time I leave to pick Roman up for school. And I will accomplish that. Today I'm cooking zucchini. Um, yellow squash, red pepper, broccoli. Broccoli, I will cook in oil. I love the way that I make my broccoli with oil, sometimes garlic and salt. Yum. And I'm going to make, um, I have a few things here. I have uncured chicken sausage, which I will cook in onions. I use a lot of onions because I love onions. You don't have to. I have, here's a tip, air chilled chicken. Let's talk about that. Air chilled chicken, yes, it is more expensive. The quality is, in my opinion, so worth it. I really believe that. When you buy chicken, organic or not, it has lots of retained water. And I think, and Google this, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they also put, chlorine and other things in it to like kill germs or something. And when you open the package, all this water spills out and it's kind of gross. Um, that stuff is not good. Air chilled chicken is way better quality. So I say spring for the air chill. That's just my opinion. Um, I even bought an organic recently that had all that extra water and it was so gross. I really like the air so That's what I'm doing. I have thighs. I have breasts. 
I have uncured sausage. These, this is from the kosher aisle. Um, and I have ground turkey also from the kosher aisle. And I'll be honest, I do have some bacon. I don't, I tried to steer clear of pork for the most part, at least here in this country, unless I'm in a foreign country like Guatemala, where they are more natural and they feed their animals, um, you know, it's normal food and stuff like that. And then I'll, I will occasionally indulge. I know pork, uh, bacon is not the best. Sometimes I do turkey bacon. I cook it in, I cook the bacon with oil or with onions, no oil. It has enough fat. Here's a, another tip. Most of the time you don't need to cook meat in oil. I know that sounds weird and foreign. You can cook it in water. Bacon, you cook in its own juices, its own fat. Um, meat, um, beef, I typically buy um at least 85 percent fat free 93 percent if i can like whatever the lowest fat percentage is the like fat is good i i want to have a little bit of fat i don't want i don't want to be fat free right fat fat is good for us it's healthy for us um but i don't want to overkill it with the fat so i typically go for 93 percent fat free and just cook it in its own fat you don't need to add oil to that it's just overkill um put in water so that it doesn't brown the pan and i i actually do put everything in water all right so that's for my zucchini noodles and this is for my yellow squash and zucchinis all right cook cook now the broccoli I'm gonna put in a pan, a pot, a pan. So I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Let's do some onion and chicken. So I'm gonna chop the onions and then I'll put the chicken in the pan, cook it up nice. Quick update of where we are with the meal prepping process. I got something on my shirt. Um, I guess I mean, We've got zucchini noodles in this pan. We have squash and zucchini in this pan. We've got thighs with onions in this pan. And we've got breasts with onions in that pan. You don't have to use as much onion as I like to use. I like onion. Um, I like onion and everything, but maybe you don't like onion. You don't use it. That's totally okay. I'm um, just giving you guys an example of what I typically do. And um, I did have a heck of a time with the packaging for the air chilled chicken <laughs> but it does feel nice knowing that it's not a lot of i read the package it's not chlorinated water so no retrained water no chlorinated water so awesome now i still have about 20 minutes so i have to go pick up rowan from school i'm going to chop these i'm going to chop the broccoli and i only have four burners <laughs> so i have to do this in a couple of stages but it's all going to work and i had a thought as i was getting everything ready i was thinking you know if you're here cooking for yourself for today you're then it's only what you're cooking for today you're wasting your time right am i right how many times have we found ourselves in that situation we are wasting our time if we're doing that because we're just going to be back here tomorrow doing the same thing. We can just cook a large quantity for the whole week. So that is something that I encourage people to do to save time. People say all the time, I don't have time. Um, take, take ownership of your time. Take ownership of your time because we all have the same 1440. And if you don't know what that means, I would love to hear what your guesses are. I'm not going to tell you. We all have the same 1440 and how you use it is 100% up to you. Control for the factors that are beyond your control, like work, like your commute time, um, like your sleep time, and how are you spending the rest of those 1440. So really think about that. That's some food for thought for you while I chop my food. 
spaghetti squash is cooked and it's time to take it out of the pan. And I'm going to put it right in my cup. Usually I let it cool for a little while. Uh, I certainly let it cool for a while. Do I have a glass container? I'll put it in a bowl. That's much better. I don't want it to go on the pot. So funny, we did a video on Instagram and we got some, some feisty, fiery comments about someone who said, we're touching our face in the kitchen and we need to sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And I just thought that was so funny. No comment. No comment. All right, so now once I get this stuff out, like I said, I'm putting it in a bowl because I don't want it to be in plastic, especially while it's hot. I probably shouldn't even put it in plastic, I should put it in glass. I do have these really cool containers from Norwex that are um, like these in multiple sizes that fold. I really like them. They're pretty cool. They're made of, I don't know, it doesn't say. I don't know why it doesn't say. Okay, whatever. All right, so we freed up this pan. Let's do what's next. Let's do all the veggies because it's so big. Let's do all the veggies. Yeah, this is having trouble. I'm going to stop it in here. Having trouble. The pan is too big. I mean, the pan is too small. All right, I lost one. It's okay. Let's see what's happening. All right, this is a much more comfortable pan. I'm just going to put all the veggies together. Veggies love cups. Let's do these two. Do I have space for that? Heck yeah, I do. All right. Oops. I didn't do the sanitary thing. Instagram troll, where are you? To yell at me. I do wash my hands a lot, though. My craft hands will tell you that. Thank goodness I have Arbonne creams that help motions. All right. Water and water. This is two cups. I might need a third cup. No, yeah, let's try that for now. Try this for now. How are we making out with, how are we doing chickens? Let's take a peek. We've got, that's the zucchini, that's the veggies, and those are the two chickens. Chickens! All right. How did I get in a silly mood all of a sudden? What's next? Let's do... I'm gonna do some brown turkey. Now the problem is I want to eat all this stuff now. The thing I ate before I did this, so that I wouldn't try to eat everything while it was cooling later, right away. So I'm just gonna eat onions and peel pan, and then I'm gonna put my kosher ground turkey and. That will put there. I'm gonna turn my chicken. Maybe I'll cut some of them. So that they cook better. Let's see. Do I need to cut you? Let's keep you the way you are. That one stays. This one turns. Turn you. Tell you about after jujitsu, I always feel like something salty. So I love to have some chicken thighs with salt, some veggies with salt. Yes, I said it's salt. And let's cut these breasts because they're really big. Wish you could see what I'm doing. I'm kind of doing breasts. And then I'm gonna put these utensils I'm using right directly into the dishwasher. Okay. 
brown meat that's not cooked fully. I'm telling you, the air chilled chicken is so much better quality wise. So good. You know, when you're eating gummy, chewy chicken that has like random pieces of like something that you're like, I'm not so sure this is actually meat. Maybe it's cartilage, kind of gross. You know, you know. This is the not so fun part. Notice that too that I didn't marinate my meat. Um, you can, it's just an extra step in my opinion. You can season it as it's cooking. I personally don't notice any difference, but I also did train my body not to be requiring a seasoning. And so when I want something, I do use a lot of onions. I use garlic, you can use ginger, you can use rosemary. You can use something like that. Oregano, you can use whatever floats your boat. Add some turmeric for anti-inflammatory. But I don't I don't marinate my chicken or any of my meat. Personally, it's just not a step I'm willing to take because it adds time and I believe that you can actually just season it while it's cooking. That's what I believe. So now that I've chopped each piece of chicken, I'm going to put this right in the dish. Okay, so we've got thighs. We've got breasts. It would have been much more convenient for me to chop the chicken raw, but yuck. And that wasn't so bad, honestly. All right, let's get this guy open. Now that my onions are browned a little bit, I'm going to pop that in, throw some in the garbage, put the knife in the all right, and I'm going to uh, put some water in here. Yeah. And everything's cooking nicely. I'm just going to turn my vegetables around a little bit so that they can get evenly cooked. This is going to be like two containers worth of vegetables, which is great. And there's going to be food when the kids get home from school and after jujitsu. And tomorrow when we're hungry. There's going to be options. We're going to be excited. We're not going to get bored. We're going to be happy to eat what we have. We're not going to make any stops or run to any stores. We're not going to forget we need to eat and go to the convenience store or fast food or something like that. Everything is going to be ready. We're going to save time. We're going to save money. And it is a beautiful thing. The sides are starting to cook pretty nicely. See a little bit of browning going on, which is nice and flavorful. You may have to lower the temperature on this one. I like that. I like this brown stuff going on. These are gonna be tasty. All right, I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Let's check out how these breasts are doing. Turn the breasts. I have a couple more minutes till I have to go get home from school. All right, everything is almost cooked and I can probably let it sit or just put the pans right in the microwave while I run out. Angel will be home while I'm out so he can check on this stuff. So everything is looking good. 
it's just about time to pick up Roman. So I'm going to start putting things that are cooked away. Um, turn off all the burners and then I'll come back and finish up. I just have my regular bacon and my uncured chicken sausage to cook for my meat and my broccoli and my mixed cut veggies that were pre-chopped by the store. I'm going to start putting these things away. So this is going to be full of glorious browned onion chicken thighs. Delicious. I don't know if you can see this, but this is good, yummy stuff. The animal fat. Sorry, vegan. So that's one and my zucchini, and I really have to go. 